But you know what's crazy? Kelsey Plum, she outscored the Indiana Fever in the fourth quarter by herself. By myself. One bed, no pillowcase, one pillow. Did nobody write me? The big announcement is that both AR and CC were selected to the All Star team, and let's get it right. Let's get it. That's the first time two rookies in the WNBA have, have been selected to the All Star team in a minute. You know what I'm talking about? So that's dope. Dope accomplishment to both Adrian Reese and Caitlin Clark. You know, say we don't have to pick a side. We could be excited for both these ballers. Bullshit! 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 If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm bullshit. If I tell you I'm no good. You know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG. And praise God to get money back for the YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. So check this out, man. You know I got to grab my nose because we have quite a few games today, man. Tonight. Tonight. It's kind of late, but you know, this is what we do this for. You know, we going to turn up for, for for the WNBA, for the ladies doing their thing, the queens and things, you know. Uh, so first off, you know, there are four games on tonight. You know, I only watched two of them. I'm going to let y'all guess which two I watch. You know what time it is. I ain't going to act like it, you know. But I did catch the highlights, you know. We're going to catch you up on the scores for the two I didn't watch. So let's start off with those first, man. You know, the, the New York Liberty, they go against the Minnesota Lynx. You know, um, you know, this is kind of a rematch from the uh, Commissioner's Cup, right? Where the Lynx beat the Liberty, right? And stopped them from uh, repeating as champions. So the Lynx won that. But, you know, not tonight. There's going to be a different story. You know, former MVP Brianna Stewart, she dropped a crazy 17.7 rebound double double on a head top. You know what I'm saying? With her teammate, another former MVP and John Quayle Jones, she had a massive 21 points with 12 rebounds you know, for another double-double herself. You know, it was just too much for Nafisa Collier. Um, she had 15 points and 10 boards as well. So they were going, they, they were exchanging double-doubles, but you know, it was just too much for the Lynx to overcome as the Liberty win 76 to 67. Now let's move on to the next game. This is actually the the last game, the late game, uh, it was a Washington Mystics. You know, they took all the Los Angeles Sparks. You know, they missed an old Brink Brink. She uh, tore ACL. But we have two other rookie sensations. You know, one being on the on the Sparks and Rakia Jackson go face it off against Aaliyah Edwards. You know what I'm saying for the for the Washington Mystics. And um, it was a close game with uh, Shatori Walker Kimbrough. She her 17 points led a full team effort from the Mystics to overcome uh, the Los Angeles Sparks. By 82 to 80, you know, by a score of 82 to 80 in a very, very close game. It went down to the wire, man, in the final seconds. Now, we go talk about AR, the game that I watched. Angel Reese, you know, she drops her 11th consecutive double double with 12 points and a whopping 19 boards, man. Oh. She actually had more boy, more boards than the rest of her team combined. You know, she by herself out, out rebounded her the rest of her Sky teammates. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, right? You know, it's very wild. You know, and Kennedy Carter, another CC, you know, for the Sky, that is, she went crazy too. She dropped a game high 26 points and had two back to back buckets and a force a crucial force turnover in between those two buckets, you know, to seal the game as the Sky beat the Atlanta Dream by a score of 85 to 77, despite a 19.14 rebound double-double effort from Tina Charles, you know. So this guy, you know, they they, they did their thing, man. They got back on the winning column because they lost their last game. Now, let's get to the uh, last game, which is the one, I, uh, the other one that I watched, We which we saw a former MVP, Asia Wilson. You know, she had an MVP stat line, too, tonight. You know, she had 28 points, nine boards, two steals, and five blocks. Damn. I'm sorry. Come on now, what, what you gonna do with that? That's that, that's that's just greatness right there. You know what I'm talking about? That's going to be hard to beat. You know, um, but when you include. Also, in addition to that, a monster season high in points performance from Kelsey Plum. There's really nothing else to say. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, she was a she was a laser from deep. You know, she went six for eleven uh, uh, from three. You know, so you can't really do much with that. You know, uh, but 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 the Fever, the Indiana Fever, did try. But you know, it's crazy. Kelsey Plum, she outscored the Indiana Fever in the fourth quarter by herself. By myself, one bed, no pillowcase, one pillow. Did nobody write me alone? She said she don't need no help. Solo dolo. She got this. You know what I'm talking about? So the defense from the from the Aces was also stifling too throughout the entire game, man. So the Aces beat the Indiana Fever by a score of 88 to 69. You know, and the Aces, they've been the, the Las Vegas Aces, they've been 5 0 since the return of their all-star point guard. You know what I'm saying? Chelsea Gray, you know, since she returned from injury. They've been on they've been on a tear. You know, and um, Kelsey Mitchell, you know, she didn't go down quietly. She led the fever and scoring with 23. Aaliyah Boston on A B. She contributed a W a Double double as well. And CC also had a double double with 13 points, 11 assists, and 11 assists, excuse me, but she also had six turnovers. So, you know, that's kind of hard to overcome. Now, 
for the meat and potatoes for the big announcement, man. The big announcement is that both AR and CC were selected to the all-star team, man. Let's get it, right? Let's get it. That's the first time two rookies in the WNBA have, have been selected to the all-star team in a minute. You know what I'm talking about? So that's dope. Dope accomplishment to both Adrian Reese and Kayla Clark. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to pick a side. We could be excited for both these ballers doing their thing. And that's what we're doing over here, man. We're excited for both of them. You know, the format we'll see... Um, Team WNBA versus the U.S. Women's National Team, a.k.a. the Paris Olympics team, yeah. So uh, I like this format, you know, have the All-Stars going against the national team. I think it's dope. You know, this marks the second time in the WNBA history that this format is used. The last time they did this was in July 2021. So this is dope. I like to see it, you know. I'm looking forward to this showcase. And we just go see all these ballers do their thing and demonstrate why they're at the top of their game, at the top of their sport, and the top of their field, you know what I'm saying? And so a big salute to all the queens going crazy on the hardwood, you know? What? Pause. But <sighs> on on that note, I didn't mean it like that. But on that note, man, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Salute to all the women doing their thing, all the queens. I appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. That's it for the WNBA recap. As always, most importantly, don't forget, without God, we are with with God, we can do anything. Without God, we are nothing. See, I'm stumbling over words because I messed up talking about the hard word. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I appreciate y'all, man. The doctor's out. Peace. Y'all be easy. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.